On this day back in 2005, not here in the tri-state, Kansas City, Missouri was seeing quite a bit of snow and it was quite a system too on top of that and I'll tell you why here in just a second. So here's what happened on. They had some snow going on. A snowstorm, it dumped 8 to 10 inches of snow in a 24-hour period, which I mean, that's a lot of snow to talk about for sure. 6 in the morning on the 7th till 6 in the morning on the 8th, but what was really fascinating about this system is it had a snow liquid ratio that averaged about 20 to 1 and what that actually means is the 20 there would be the snowfall 20 inches of snow the one would be an inch of rain and the average if you will on these systems the snow system you can have an 8 to 1 you can have a 20 to 1 as you see there kind of the average is a 10 to 1 meaning that for every one inch of rain that would be equivalent to 10 inches of snow well, the higher the number gets, that means the more chances of seeing some pretty significant snowfall. So that basically meant that had it rained, if you will, an inch, they actually would have seen 20 inches of snow. So good thing that system didn't last too long or they'd have had a lot of snow at that point. No snow on the ground for us, though. We could have a little bit of a mix on Tuesday morning, but I'm not banking on a lot there. This is our iMark camera on top of the Fifth Third Bank, downtown Evansville. Looking very nice this evening and very chilly too, 33 degrees right now. A calm wind, but I do expect that to fluctuate between 33 and 34 as we go through the rest of the night because some southerly winds are working their way towards us and that will let temperatures begin to really rise. Now, really... Temperature-wise, below freezing, not too many locations seeing that, though Carmi is at 32. Princeton, not too far away from it, 33 there. Vincennes up in Knox County along US 50 is at the freezing mark, as is Greenville, but we're kind of all low to mid-30s at this time. So let's check out Temperature Tracker. It's forecast about 34 degrees tomorrow morning at 6. I completely agree with that. Sounds good to me. But watch what happens, how, how quickly things change. You kind of saw that influx in from the south, and temperatures tomorrow morning are getting close to afternoon. Uh, at around mid-50s to close to 60 degrees as we go throughout the afternoon. There will be some folks that will may even touch 60 tomorrow despite all the clouds. It's because we're going to have a good southerly breeze tomorrow at around 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow night uh, into Monday morning, looking fairly nice. Not too bad to start the day in the mid-50s. Some folks come in the upper 50s at 5 o'clock on Monday morning. And on Monday, I wouldn't doubt if some folks do hit 60 degrees despite cloudy conditions and rain showers. We're going to have southerly winds gusting around 25 to 30 miles per hour on Monday. That's what's going to let temperatures really begin to get on up there. Although it goes away fast, Monday night cold front comes through, knocks down into the 30s by Tuesday. Live first warning Doppler radar and the network of Dopplers are all quiet this evening. Storm Tracker, a few little clouds, so we'll go partly cloudy tonight. And Storm Tracker will show the Future Tracker they're doing the same thing. But Future Tracker kind of differs when it comes to tomorrow. It starts the day completely sunny and by the afternoon increasing the clouds. Other models have the clouds completely with us by tomorrow morning and just sticking with us all day long. So I'm hoping Future Tracker is going to be the right one here. And I do think we're going to have some sun in the morning giving way to mostly cloudy skies. Some patchy drizzle possible throughout the day. But by Monday, or rather Monday mo morning, not Monday night, early on Monday morning, the rain begins to break out. And roughly about half an inch of rain could be possible. But there could be some rain still ha hanging around Monday night. And if it doesn't move out fast enough, it could linger to Tuesday morning which could give us a little bit of a mix, but I'm not banking on that. I'll just say it's going to be maybe a slight chance of a mix. Really nothing at all to be worried about. 30s, though, on Tuesday, upper 30s there. And check out Wednesday, lots of sunshine, but unfortunately only highs in the mid-30s. We rebound back in the 40s starting on Friday, Amanda.